Yeah, this is Kimani Mali speaking, and you're tuned into the Real Life Show. Keep it locked here. It's real and it's life. Rastafari. We are back, people. It's your girl, Shiraz, coming to you live from the Real Life Show. And once again, I'm back in Manhattan, this time with the sexy, sexy Marley. How are you doing this evening, Kimani? Wow, I never know what I'm titling again. <laughs> I'm doing, doing good. Yeah. I'm doing good there. Looking good, as you always are. Wow, thank you. And you're looking beautiful as usual. Thank you. You Why are you all so like, soft-spoken this evening? You're just kind of like, are you getting your sexy on? Is that what it is right now? No, I just got to have stairs, you know, just trying to come back and get it back to normal. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and I saw you on stage, and it was, it was good, yeah. if not great. <laughs> yeah, man, well, I'm glad you enjoy I definitely, definitely, definitely did. What's your frame of mind before you go on to stage versus after? My frame of mind before I go on stage? Mm -hmm. um, funny, you know, I'm not really got through nothing before me. You know, I'm just... <laughs> you don't have, <laughs> like, a, a regimen that you go through over and over and over again? Or you, it's just kind of, like, free-flowing? My frame of mind before stage is just song selection. I like to go out and peep on the crowd first and okay. just kind of feel their vibe. So you don't just have, like, a set one through ten? No. It changes to every show. Mm -hmm. You know, because everywhere you go, you know, you have, you have different crowd, different strokes, or different folks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then the one thing that I can say I do before every show is that, you know, we have a group prayer. Okay. And then I pray again by myself. Nice. Yeah, so. When you pray, what do you ask for? What do you say? I may ask for? Mm -hmm. I mean, we pray for forgiveness, we pray for, for health and strength, you uh -huh. know, we pray for my, my children and my family. But yeah. Dear God, I have a lot you get from me to God And I want to let you know my little son Dear God, let you get from me to God And I want to let you know Dear God, dear God, I really didn't get to know When sometimes I sit and wonder when it makes me through When dear God and the crowd went bananas, it was crazy I was like in the back and I heard people was like whistling, everybody got out their seats, they went crazy. Why do you think that song resonates through such um, spectrums and ages of people? Because people can relate. That is a song that, 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 that speaks of life. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So people can relate to it and, 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 and it's a song that for me is very personal and very touching. And like I said, and anybody... I feel as though that I've lost a loved one, mm -hmm. not necessarily a father, but, you know, mother, auntie, mm -hmm. niece, nephew, whatever it may be. You know what I mean? Um, I think a lot of us feel that way, you know, we, 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 we always tend to lose people. And then when we lose someone close to us, we say, boy, I wish I did spend some more yes, time. Or, yes. Damn, that time when me and I did fight, I wish yes. we never fight her. Uh -huh. I wish me and him never fight uh -huh. her. You know what I mean? So, and I think that song kind of touches on that. And, and, I think that's what it is. You know what I mean? Do you think that song, I guess, for the people that you love now in your life, that you you appreciate them more, so you don't have to look back and say those things if, in in the event if something like that happens? Um, no, you always miss a loved one, in there. no matter how much time. No, mm -hmm. even if you spend every day with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Once you have someone close to you that that has moved on to the next life, you you'll always miss that person. So. There will always be that, that, that you always have the emotions to write such songs. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, turn Your Lights Down Low, which is my ultimate most favorite song, and specifically the version with Lauren Hill on it. I really, really love um, that remake. When you redo your dad's songs, um, I guess your, your frame of mind, do, do, you, do you reminisce on things? Do you try to be extremely different when you, when you perform it so it's not similar to his? Mm, not really. No? Uh, no, I just rehearse it. You know, I don't, I don't go into that deep of thought okay. when, when I'm rehearsing it. You know what I mean? I know what the song is. I know mm -hmm. what the feel is. I know what it's supposed to be. So... I just rehearse it and do it and pretty do much. Yeah, I just do my own spin on it or, or whatever feels natural, whatever whatever comes to Each me. one of your brothers, you know, Steven, Ziggy, Damien, everybody takes a little bit of essence from your dad, the way that, you know, whether it's his persona, certain things that he always says in his songs. I feel, and, and a lot of people say that you do the little trill with your voice. I can't really do it, like the, ah, that thing. Is that like your, 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 your mark? 
to, to, that, to kind of I mean, commemorate him or is that just something you took yeah. from? Um, yeah, it was just a vibe, you know, you know, it's a really and truly I did it on, on this song a while back. <laughs> people heard it and was like you did it or you sampled it and uh -huh. I was like I did it was like no way it was like yo you should use that I just you know I use it every uh, here, here and there is it hard to do because I try to do it like when I'm by myself in the room and it doesn't how do I no I didn't do it I didn't do it good let me hear it Co correctly <laughs> <laughs> no that didn't come out right I'm a coming for you yeah I love all they do as they like Even the blind man can see my stripes I'm a champion. 